Hello Instagram, we are in back pain month. So you can check out our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all the eye movers. We're doing wonderful videos on back pain. The main thing that I've been focusing on is how the assessment and treatment of back pain has changed significantly in the last 10 years. So the first thing I'm gonna ask of you is if you or someone you know has back pain, please share this with them. Send us a DM because we want to help them. We're going to do consults for them live and online, and we're going to do it at a massively reduced rate to so anyone who's struggling with back pain. But 10 years ago, the research around back pain came out that there were these core muscles, transverse abdominis and multifidus, and that those core, core muscles were delayed in switching on when we did big movements like squatting or running or walking. And normally those core muscles are supposed to switch on and they get us ready for movement and then our big muscles go. The research started to reveal something's happening here in these core muscles. And without further information, physios all over the world started prescribing TRA and multifidus exercises. You would have seen them, right? Like switching on down here, bird dogs, dead bugs. It also gave birth to a whole arm of physio and gave birth to Pilates and like a whole movement of core but we now know that that kind of has nothing to do with back pain. So if you, again, if you or someone you know has back pain, please share or tag this with them. And if, and if you wanna send us a DM, I'm gonna help you with uh, a consult, either in the clinics or live telehealth consult online. So our assessment of patients was wrong, which means our treatment is wrong. The other thing that happened is we stiffened up our backs. We started kind of holding like this. It created tension and we started walking around and moving with a stiff straight back and even picking things up with a stiff straight back. The problem with that is every day we're doing that, we're deconditioning our back to the way it was designed to move. So now all of a sudden, we're not flexing at our back. We're not rotating our back. We're not adapting the discs, the joints, or the muscles. And what we call I'm just saying hello to people. What we call your envelope of function is now decreased. So what happens when your pain subsides, but you've been guarding and holding tense, the next time you go to do something under load, you hurt your back again. And you start this cycle of deconditioning your back, being scared of your back, being anxious of your back, doing less hard movements, turning those muscles on really stiff again, and then the cycle repeats and you get over-medicalized. The other thing that has changed in the evidence is our understanding of disc bulges. We now know, really interestingly, that people with disc bulges, uh, there's a lot of people with disc bulges that have no pain, and most people over 40 have disc bulges. Conversely, there's people with really clean MRIs that have chronic back pain. So two things we did wrong 10 years ago as physios. We told you to turn these core muscles on and guard them and really protect your back and hold it stiff. And the other thing is we kind of overanalyzed and overfocused on your MRI. We now know that discs are like muscles. They actually adapt when you flex, when you load, they get stronger um, and your back gets stronger. So we're seeing a lot of this in the clinic and that's been the, the kind of spark behind back pain and back pain month. So if you or anyone you know has back pain, tag them in this, share, share it with them and send us a DM. Um, if you have back pain or a friend has back pain, get them to send us a DM. We're gonna look after them with either a consult in the clinic or a, a telehealth consult. And if it sounds like you, potentially you're doing core work, you're, you're keeping these muscles guarded, you're a bit nervous about your back, maybe you're not doing the things you used to do because of your back pain, I reckon we can help. And the other thing I'm aware of is this kind of sounds scary. If you're someone who has had that treatment for the last five or six years, um, it can sound scary to, to start flexing your back again and go and see that physio who's telling me to do movements again. We do it really slowly and we do it with your permission and we do little movement experiments and each week, month on month, we'll start to load you back more and all of a sudden your envelope of function increases, your quality of life goes up, your nervousness around your back goes down, you get stronger and then you're more likely to have a healthier back and you're more likely to have less flare-ups and you're more likely that if you do have a flare-up, the flare-ups will be less severe. So that's quite often what we see and what I would call a modern and evidence-based approach to back pain. Please reach out if you or someone you know needs help with that. I'll talk to you soon.